Surviving is good, but you should be doing this instead. Welcome back to Book 5, the channel that helps you live a more holistic life. This is your man Jay, and today we are going to speak about surviving versus thriving, okay? Many of us come from environments where it is literally survival of the fittest. So when you're growing up in those environments, you naturally become very good at survival and your survival instincts and uh, all of those things that that you need to navigate that environment are kind of given to you uh, by being raised in that environment, whether that be through parents or older people who, um, you know, um, help raise you or just trial and error, right? You make a mistake in certain survival environments and, you know, you can't come back from those mistakes. So as we, as we grow up and we become, you know, older and more mature, that is ingrained in us. And what tends to happen is it really stifles our progress um, as a mature adult. Many of those things that you know you you endured and had to survive through, you and you survived them through your adolescence. You survived them through your childhood. But you're no longer a child. You're no longer an adolescent. You are a you are an adult, right? And you hold on to those certain survival instincts, but those survival instincts are short sighted. Number one, if you are still in an environment where there is a necessity for you to rely on your survival instincts, you're in the wrong place. And it, it, you have to have a concerted effort to remove yourself from that place uh, long term. Like you got to get away from there, right? Um, it, it's, it's keeping you uh, uh, in, in surviving because let's be honest, when you're in survival mode, it's not comfortable. You're, you're, you're consistently uncomfortable. You, you are not living the life that you want to live. Now, of course, you'll never be in this life. You will never have a carefree life, so to speak. But when you're in those type of situations, you really don't have a moment of carefree time. Everything is pressing, whether it's a bill, whether it's a family member that needs help, whether it's a, um, a, a you know, an altercation that you have to manage. All, all of these kind of things, right? It keeps you in survival mode, uh, even to the point where wherever you make your purchases, is this person getting over on me? Is this person out to take something from me? And your mind is just never at ease in those environments. So, uh, you know, you got to remove yourself from those environments. Now, let's say you out of those environments at this point. How do you know that you are living a, a survivor's life? as opposed to a, a thriving person's life. Okay, well, if you live in paycheck to paycheck, you're in you're in a survivor's lifestyle where you literally get your money and all you can do is pay for, you know, your essentials and then you don't have wiggle room for enjoyment. Uh, and even if you do enjoy yourself with some of your earnings, then you have to do that at the expense of something vital. And now you're behind and now you're playing catch up next week. And, you know, you know how it goes. Right. So you're living in, you know, you're living in a survivor's mind. Uh, uh, well, you're living in a survivor mode and still, you know, have to employ the survivor's um, instincts. Uh, so the, the next thing is um, you're settling. Right. When you are. When you are in a survival mode, you settle for things that you wouldn't normally consider if you were more comfortable. It might be this, uh, you know, whack job that's just, it, you just hate it to the core. But you, you're doing it because you feel or you, you think that this is the only option for you, okay? Or you could be stuck in a situation with a person, maybe a relationship, whether that be a business relationship, a romantic relationship, and or, you know, family oriented relationship that is it's toxic for you. It's not good for you, but you feel like this is the best that you can do at this time. And so you you settling for that, right? You 
and, and, and the whole time you thinking in your mind, if I was here or if I was, you know, here in this particular aspect of my life, I wouldn't even be dealing with this. So you in a you have a like a settle, you have a a, a settling uh, mentality because you were you were in survivor mode. Another thing is, um, uh, you 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 are literally a professional survivalist at this point, right? And it's just hard for you to break those break that mentality and what you tend to do is you take opportunities and then you sabotage them to put you back in that mode because that's really your mode of uh comfort that's what you know and you know that you don't have to get on a learning curve to live a different type of life however all of that's all well and good and it do it does define character and it builds strength and it you know and it gives you an edge on uh, many people out here because, uh, you know, a lot of people, they just don't have that. They don't have that perspective and they wouldn't know how to survive, uh, you know, um, with the bare minimum if you paid them to. Right. So all of those things are all good. However, you got to switch your mind state to a thriving mind state. We are not we are not meant to be here surviving. OK, we are supposed to be living a thriving life and that's thriving in all areas of your life right and that's you know that's why on this channel i try my best to give you different perspective on different aspects of life to you know just shape them up you you really don't need uh, a bunch of um hardcore changes it's just some basic fundamental principles that if applied your life just gets a hundred times better <laughs>